Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope I don't seem a bit distracted today. There's been a little bit of drama on Twitter and Instagram and stuff and it can make me a little bit like adrenaline-y and so I hope I don't come across like that. I'm, I'm doing my best. I've had a Diet Coke, I should be fine. I've got loads of different items from loads of different brands so I thought that I would kind of bung loads of it together and show you what I've been pooping. That is not a nice word. So I've got a haul for you today and um, there's just loads of different items from loads of different brands. So I'm gonna try not to ramble on like I usually do in hauls. And I'm just gonna show you what it is I've got. And um, obviously after each section, I will show you how it looks on. And if you want to purchase any of the items that I feature, they will be linked down below. I tend to sort of sort them out by item or by outfit if I style them up. I'm gonna try and style them up in this video, but I don't know whether we'll have enough light. It's quite late on in the day. <laughs> so without further rambling, let's get into the video. So the first pair of things I'm gonna show you is from a brand that I've not ever bought from before, but I've actually been eyeing these up for a while. This is from a brand called Castana, Castagna. But they're some espadrilles, and they're actually quite a low wedge espadril. I want to get another pair of them. There's a blue pair that I saw that's now sold out which is slightly higher, but these are such a flattering um, summer shoe. I don't know what it is about them. They kind of look a little bit frumpy from the side, I'm not gonna lie, um, but actually when you put them on with a really nice kind of cotton summer dress, they look really nice and really feminine, but still super comfortable. I wish I'd got these sooner. Um, I can't wait to wear them, and I've got so many dresses that are gonna look nice with this. This kind of strap here goes around your ankle and does up in a little bow, and it just looks really nice. But for a net -a porter product, these aren't um, hugely expensive in terms of shoes. I think these ones are either 80 or 95 pounds. Obviously, they have shoes that go up to like thousands. So it was quite a welcomed thing to see on their pages. I got them in a size five, because that is my usual size. It kind of varies in some shoes, like boots and stuff, I might have to go up or down, um, but usually size five does it. Um, I'm gonna show you these on my feet, but throughout this video, you should be able to see me style these shoes up with some of the other items that I've got. But that is the first item, and I think that they're a really good summer shoe. Next up, we have a dress, which is this kind of pink one. This is from a brand called Vila, which I think is like a Scandinavian brand. Uh, I'm not too sure. It's kind of got a little bit of like chiffon, um, brodery anglaise on it, but it's a different kind of fabric. Usually that's in cotton. It's got a, an elasticated high neck and elasticated sleeves and then a drawstring waist. Uh, and it's in this kind of blush fabric. It should be quite nice and lightweight for summer as well. So I'll probably get quite a bit of wear out of this. Although I'm not sure about the high neck. We'll see how it looks on. I've not tried it on yet. This says on the tag 48 pounds. I used um, my best friend's discount to get this because she's leaving the store soon so um I yeah I did get a bit of discount on this stuff I just thought I better make the most of that discount whilst I still could <laughs> um so that one is from Vila and I got it in a size extra small I know some people have um issues with me saying the sizes of products over and over again I only say it because it's in the comments and it just makes it easier for people if you would prefer I can just pop it in the description box so that it's not constantly being repeated um I'll try and do that see if that works better for you. Um, but let's pop this on and see what it looks like because I have absolutely no idea. I got it out of the bag and Carrie was like, I'm not sure. So let's try it on and see. <laughs> so this is the dress on and actually, this reminds me massively of the kind of like, it was sort of like a, bur not burnt orange, like a beigey coloured Chloe dress that they had on net a -Porter. I think it was from their collab, I can't remember. It was beautiful, it was 3,000 pounds. Even though this isn't the same colour, the actual style of it with this sort of ruched collar and the sleeves is really nice. Um, so I do think that once this has had a bit of a steam or an iron, it will be really nice. I like it with the Chloe shoes as well. I didn't expect that to go. I was gonna wear the other espadrilles, but these look so much nicer. And then I've teamed it with my Petit Mal from uh, Louis Vuitton. And that's kind of it really, but I actually really like this. So um, I like the colour of it as well. So I probably will wear this more than I thought I would. <laughs> Next up is my Prada Cahir bag, and this is uh, in the nude shade. I'm a sucker for a nude bag. I love this like chunky strap. It's a little bit more casual. I definitely wouldn't wear this as 
a um, nighttime bag. This is very much something that you wear to sort of give a little bit of attitude to the outfit, I think. It's really sort of chunky and quite statement in itself. So it is something that I find is a great addition to like feminine dresses, which I obviously wear quite a lot of. A really lovely bag and um, really quite spacious as well. Not the easiest to open, but um, it has got a lot of room in there and I can fit a lot of stuff, but this is obviously, sometimes with bags, they, they come at a price and this is a little bit not the most practical of things but I do tend to close it properly which is an important thing especially when being in London. But yeah, one of my newest handbag additions at the moment and um, if you've watched it for a while you'll know that I'm just a sucker for a handbag and I can't help it and it's just one of those things I really like to collect. So um, yeah, I will have popped a link to this one down below but I'm gonna be styling this up as well with the different outfits that are featured in this haul. Broderie Anglaise dress. I think this is from Misguided. I was making use of Carrie's discount again for the very last time. And um, I've been looking for a white dress to go with another pair of shoes I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna lie, I was really struggling. Like even at the usual stores that I would like to shop from, I just wasn't finding anything. Nothing that was the right silhouette. I wanted something quite loose, but not dressy. I wanted it quite cottony, but still with some detail. And I just, I couldn't find it anywhere. Shopbot, Revolve, net a -Porte. Louisa Viaroma. I couldn't find anything on there that was tickling my fancy and I saw this. I'm, I don't love the neckline on it but I do actually really like the detailing on it. So I'm going to style this dress up and show you what it looks like on. Um, I hope that the neckline suits me. I just didn't think it would. It's a little bit too scooped but we'll see. So for this dress I love the skirt of it and I love the shape of it and I love the ruffles. The only thing that I feel lets it down is like the arm and the neckline it's just something about it makes it seem unfinished but i love everything else about it so i'm a bit on the fence i'm not sure if i do love it um i do like still the pairing of the chloe boots and the louis vuitton bag but not sure whether this is the dress that i was thinking for these shoes and bag just feels like this needs like a, f a ruffle here like or maybe like a collar shoes i absolutely love like i have fallen in love with these shoes majorly and i think you're probably going to see a lot more of them over the next few weeks. I hadn't actually put them on with anything and styled them up. And now that I'm doing that in this haul, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they've just been sat in my wardrobe. Um, really love the style of them and love the way that they're just a little bit different and they've got a really good heel height. I have used some moisturizer to get my feet into them and that usually makes uh, the leather expand a little bit, which is a little bit of a trick of mine. Um, but yeah, I really like these. You like them too? <laughs> Uh, we have another broderie anglaise item. This is from Burberry and this is kind, it's not an off the shoulder top unless I've got really wide shoulders. Um, it's kind of more of a one shouldery top or kind of open neck. It's got these beautiful massive sleeves. Look at those. Oh my god. It was this um, lace detailing as well. So the mix of lace and the broderie anglaise was just so beautiful together. So I just couldn't help myself, so I, <laughs> I'm like holding it in front of my face. I would probably wear this styled up with cute little denim shorts, maybe a denim skirt, or underneath like denim overalls, or a denim pinny dress, or something like that. It just adds a little bit of like feminine detail to the denim. Um, but let's try it on, because I have not tried it on yet. <laughs> so let's have a look. I absolutely love this top on. I briefly put it on, but not tried it on properly. And now that I've put it on with a full outfit, I really, really like it. I love the sleeves. You know that I'm all about a big sleeve. And there's no change here. I absolutely love it. And um, I think this will look really nice with skinny jeans as well. So maybe in like the transition seasons. I popped it with the Castagna, I think that's how you say it, um, espadrilles and the Prada bag as well. And then the rag and bone short. So it's kind of like an outfit from everything in this haul. So these are the shoes in question. These are these beautiful Chloe lace up boots. The lacing actually goes like in around this area, which I think is a really beautiful detail. It's actually quite flattering on your legs as well, which because with boots, sometimes they're not that flattering. I'm just gonna throw it out there. It can cut your legs off in the wrong place, but I really like these. They've got a great heel as well. I am a big wearer of heels, but I like to be comfortable when I do it. That's something I really look for in my style. It's not easy. There have been a few occasions when I'm hobbling home or hobbling around London or hobbling around Ascot. <laughs> and I'm like, uh. 
<laughs> but um, I haven't worn these out yet. These are still brand new because I was looking for the right items to wear them with and I think that now I've found it. They're tight but they're not uncomfortable so I'm thinking that the leather will uh, stretch out a little bit for me. But if you're looking for that optimal comfort from the word go, sometimes I get shoes and I'm thinking they're going to stretch out and it's going to be a lot more comfortable then. And they nine times out of ten do so I'm hopeful for these. Also you do not have to worry about lacing them up because they do come with the zip closure which is a godsend. But I did have to loosen them just a little bit because I've got really like wide, tall, massive feet. So yeah. <laughs> then we have my Chloe, which God, they need a clean. <laughs> Hold on. Next up, we have my Chloe for Netta Porte sunglasses. I don't know whether you know, but Chloe and Netta Porte worked on a collection together, which for me was literally like the dream. I am obsessed, but these are the only things that I could get from it because sometimes Chloe ready to wear can be quite expensive. I saw quite a few of like the sort of Instagram girls wearing these style of sunglasses and I was like, oh Lydia, you are nowhere near cool enough to pull off these sunglasses. Um, but when they came in these like unicorn inspired lenses, I, I, they're totally not unicorn inspired, it's just pink and purple. But I just loved the whole rainbow effect and um, really just kind of fell in love with them. They do come with a tassel that um, hangs off the back of them, but with hair like mine, it just gets caught and it's a little bit of hassle. They're not for everyone. I totally get that. These kind of big bug eyed sunglasses. Some people are like, oh my God, they're amazing. And other people are like, what is that on your face? <laughs> So yeah, they're just something that I wear that I really like. Um, if you like them too, great. If you don't, you don't have to buy them. It's cool. <laughs> then we have some shorts. These are from Rag and Bone. I think these need, these are quite a rigid denim. So I think that they do need some loosening up to be able to be that sort of relaxed kind of tomboy fit. I like the fact that they've got these kind of rivets here. It's all very distressed, all very worn. And I think that these will be one of those kind of staple denim short pieces that once you've worn them in and kind of just worn in the denim, made it soft so that it slouches a little bit and hangs a little bit nicer. These will be so, so nice. And that's really what I tend to do with my denim. I tend to wear it and then wear it and then wear it. It just softens up a little bit and makes them a lot more wearable. So those are some denim shorts from Rag and Bone. Just two more dresses left. This is from a brand called Sacred Hawk. And this is a very kind of boho, distressed, um, I wouldn't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like my Zimmerman dress, like the silhouette of it. Oh, I don't really know how to explain it. It comes with a slip, so it's not actually this see-through, but it's just a dress that's quite um, raw and undone. It looks, it doesn't look, it looks kind of a bit tatty here. It probably needs a steam or an iron, but this is kind of one of those dresses that I would put on with a pair of boots during the summer. If I'm going to like a festival or something, it's quite um, a good option as well. And just, I liked the tones of it. I loved this gray. I thought it'd look quite nice with my, um, um, Dior armor bag and I love the my Dior armor bag my Dior armor bag and um, the grey tones are just really beautiful with the lace as well you get a lot of slips and you're like hold on the slip is see-through what <laughs> but this is a very opaque slip so that's really good I haven't tried that on yet so I have no idea what it looks like so we're gonna find out together so I don't know if you can tell from these cutaways but I feel so uncomfortable in this dress I don't like it at all um, I don't like the way the lip comes out like underneath and the way that it hangs, maybe I'm too top heavy for it. The sleeves again, the fabric doesn't feel very nice um, and I just feel really uncomfortable in it. I didn't even know what handbag to put with it because this is so like lacy and boho and then my Dior, my Dior armor bag is so like structured. So I was like, oh, <laughs> so I don't think that this dress is very me and I feel really uncomfortable with it. <laughs> This dress from Matthew Williamson, this is a beach dress, so it's very like long, it's a bit of a maxi dress. Um, beautiful colours like Matthew Williamson is so known for. You would have known that I worked on his sportswear collection. And this sort of halter neck dress, which is so lightweight, like this would be the perfect thing to wear with my big bug sunglasses. Oh. I can't believe I just did that. Um, yeah, I was getting a bit carried away then. <laughs> getting a bit excited but I would like to wear my big bug sunglasses with this dress I think that that would look really nice and some cute little sort of champagne gold sandals they will look lovely together so I guess I'm gonna be popping these two on together as well and styling them up so this is the Matthew Williamson uh, maxi dress um, I'm first of all gonna say that I really hope you can't see my big non-nap pants that I have on a, under here because they're massive I was like maybe you can see them 
but maybe they can't. So hopefully on camera you can't see them. Um, but this is beautiful and so much more colourful than I would usually go for, but love it. I love the shape of it as well. Um, it's got like a completely exposed back, which when the weather is muggy and hot like it is at the moment, I'm actually loving life, even just being inside. Also love how it goes with this bag because if ever there was a dress made for this bag, I think it's kind of this one. <laughs> um, and it's just very, very easy to wear. So I'm actually really loving this dress. Um, it's my first sort of ready to wear item from Matthew Williamson and yay. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's, oh my God, that's the last. Oh no, wait, I have one item. You saw this already though. It's still full of all of my stuff from traveling. This is my Prada like beach bag. I did show you this in um, a vlog recently and it's just great. This is such a good bag, fits so much stuff, great for traveling. It's great for a beach bag as well and so much nicer in person and you can kind of like open it up so it's even bigger like this or you can pop those clothes so it's just more of like a tote bag. It's a bit more like trapeze when it's like that. So yeah, that's the um, big Prada bag, which again, everything will be linked below that I featured and tried on and just um, anything you could ever want from this haul is in the description box basically. I also wanted to say, because sometimes I feel like this is really well received when I do um, these kinds of videos. So um, as much as disclaimers, can annoy some people. I thought I'd pop it at the end so you guys can just watch it if you want. But when I do hauls and when I show you what I'm buying or what I'm collecting or um, what I'm thinking of buying, I'm never sat here saying that you have to buy it. I'm never sat here saying that you have to do the same things. It's never a competition. It's never that you have to keep up. It's never what I'm suggesting from my channel. It may not be your style. It may not be what you want to wear. It may not be your price point. It may not be anything that you're interested in. And that's always absolutely fine. Um, what I am doing is showing you items that I like. And if there's people out there that like the same items as me, but they maybe want to know a little bit more about them, this is what my channel is um, here for. If you're thinking about buying the Prada Kahir bag, I just showed you it, told you what I thought about it, maybe told you things that I didn't like about it, um, and that might help you, it might not, but hopefully it does help someone. As always, if you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. I will see you in my next video, I hope see you in my next video, thank you so much for watching, bye!